Nick, can I borrow some money? Right, how much you need? Well, don't get upset, but I need like seven grand. Okay, I, I can get that to you on uh, 15, uh, for 15 points. 15 points? Yeah, 15 points, you know, 15% 50, 50 interest. Yeah? Yeah, I can get that to you. <sighs> yeah, that would be great, honestly. What, what, what you need it for? Well, I don't think that matters. Just... Well, it matters to me. It's my money. What the fuck? Well, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you back. That's all I think you should know. No, I got to manage my investments. Where's your shit's right. going? Is it going, right. to, is it going to uh, Sora's goofy-ass fucking shoes over here? Or Goofy's goofy-ass shoes? Well, you know Donald ain't got no fucking kicks on them goddamn flippers. It's mainly a donation for uh, a pledge that I, I committed to. It's for, uh, you know, one of the... Uh, it's to help Sora uh, get foot reconstruction surgery. Because okay. Lord knows... Nobody's feet need to be that big. Then nah, fuck it. This asshole doesn't need it. He's in the end of the world. What the fuck does Sora need new feet for? He's gonna die probably shortly anyways. Alrighty. Yeah, and with no! that, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time we got here to the end of the world and got through the, the fighting fight that was the intro, and then the nothing that was that middle part. Now we're back in the Sherbert world. Exactly. We were also at, at, in the 100 Acre Wood, but fuck that. We don't care about that. I'll show Oop. you my 100 Acre Wood. Please do. All 100 acres of it. I'd love to see it. It's, I, I bet you got some nice property on there. Oh, that's a weird way to travel around here. Yeah, you're just traveling like through zones of light, and we're going wow. back, back through the worlds and fighting, you guessed it, more waves of enemies. Yeah. It's, it's an action game, after all. Damn, but look at you just murdering them in two, three hits. You're like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, no, these are these are like star level enemies. It's going to go through, it's going to be like a, like a gauntlet type state thing where we're going to just fight every single enemy type, basically. Oh, my you magic. hit that guy three times and still didn't do anything. Yeah, well, my magic is ass, so let's just do some of that. Bam. Oh, yeah, there we go. Damn, <laughs> problem, Jesus. Problem solver. Look at all that money. Bam, all the money we're never going to use for anything. But you still got to collect it. Oh, yeah, 100%. And these fucking items that I'm also probably never going to use for anything. Hey, nice. better to have it than not, right? Oh yeah, 100%, because I don't have to grind as much later. You know, I tried to grind uh, off-screen between between these episodes, but I found that I couldn't leave uh, the end of the world. So, it's, I guess the grinding will just have to come... Uh, ooh, a spirit gem. Uh, I don't really think episode. you need grinding anymore, though. Well, just to get the like the extra shit, you know. Like the, fi like the final synthesis item shit, you know, all the... You know, mm, all yeah, that, yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, garbage. Yeah, but so th this is what this is. We're, we're going to go through each of these. There's probably like, what, 12 of them or so? You'd fight enemies, you get a chest at the end of it. And then Woo! you go to the next one. Yay. You know, it's, it's a good like little you know, grind at the end if you're not a... Uh, if your particular Sora isn't uh, up to the task. It's a good, you know, little skill check. No, nothing too offensive. Right, I mean, I'd hope it wouldn't be offensive, but... Yeah, no, nothing. It's, it's all... It's Jim Gaffigan and... Um, Jim uh, Gaffigan. <laughs> And uh, what's well, no, Jeff Buddy Dunham, Holly. I Je Jeff Dunham is not really that that really family friendly. He kind of he does some risque humor occasionally, uh, what but only about towards Brian minorities. Regan. Brian Regan, he's family friendly. I don't remember him. The name is familiar. Brian Regan, he uh, doesn't swear. He's really funny. He was on a. Something's burning with is, Burt Kreischer. Is, is he kind of like a Southern accent kind of guy? No. Because there's another kind of guy who does that same like no cursing really, and he kind of has like a little Southern twang on him. No. Ryan Regan. Hmm. Then I'll put a picture of him right here. Bam. I love I don't him. Remember who it is. Great guy. You know, if I remember his name, it's vaguely familiar to me. Then I'm. I, I, he's probably somewhat decent. Not saying that I know all the good comedians or whatever. My opinion's the best, but you know, it's you know, I, I, I pay attention to. You heard him. He said it. Clip it. Exactly. Clip it. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, that 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 scene in um, uh, the Scooby Doo movie too, where they clip Fred being like, "I think Coolsville sucks." Remember that part? No. Dude, you, honestly, I haven't. I don't remember m uh, much uh, Scooby Doo movies. Have you seen? I remember my favorite ones, but have you seen the, the live action ones? The the, the oh, the live action ones. Yeah, I I remember the. There were two, right? Yeah. Okay, I remember the first one more than the second yeah. one. I do you, think. Do you remember that scary ass bunny at the beginning of the first one? Bunny? That, yeah, it was like it's like a dude in a white suit and he's got really long like white like ears and looks like a weird like crazy ass demon bunny. It's scary as fuck. What the fuck? No, look, I don't remember that. Look at it up right now. Put a picture of it right here. Bam! Damn. Spooked you? No, seriously, look it up. It's it's scary as shit. Oh, because all I remember was them and like they go to like the museum thing for a party and then something goes down. I don't even. No, no, no. In the first one, they go to the island. Oh, then I'm thinking of the second one then. Yeah, yeah, the okay. second, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I remember now. You're right. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. The, the, the Scrappy Doo was in the first one, right? Yes. Okay. Is there a chest here? Yeah. Look up, look up, scary, scary, scary bunny. Uh, Scooby, there it is. Scooby Doo movie one. Oh, the, 
Oh, this isn't that scary. This is more cute than anything. How is this scary? That's what the fuck are you talking? You show me that picture. You told me that's fucking cute. What are you talking about? You're insane. Now I see why you want like to a shitty Halloween costume. What are you talking? I mean, about? yeah, but when you're like a child and it's like, it, it, that, oh, well, yeah, probably. That's, sure. That thing's scary. Even right now, when you showed me the picture, I was like, yeah, that's scary as fuck. Fuck that guy. I hated that thing when I was a kid. Well, I mean, that, that's reasonable. You're a child. But even when I was like 12 or 13, I wasn't scared, but I was like, that guy's creepy as fuck. I hate that thing. It was... That, it how, looks like a uh, fucking, uh... The fucking... Uh... Well, the, 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 the guy in fucking Kingdom Hearts in the Halloween world. What was his fucking name? Oogie Boogie? Yeah, kind of. Just without the long ears. Same of, like, mouth and stuff, you know? Yeah, but that was an actual cartoon. <laughs> that, that, that was a real person in an outfit. And it's like, Jesus, that that thing looks scary as shit. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the rabbit from, uh... Uh, fucking... What, what's the movie? Donnie Darko. Uh, I don't remember. Do you, you, you remember Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko, right? Yeah. Yeah, the rabbit. Remember the big speaker rabbit with the teeth? Kind of. Look up Donnie Darko Rabbit now. Oh, <laughs> fuck. You guys are making me look up that'll rabbits be, that, all day. That'll be really easy to find. It's, it's one of the, it's, that is one of the main parts of the movie. But you remember when you see it. Okay, yeah. Now, this is a lot creepier than the fucking oh, yeah, Scooby-Doo one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of. They, they, they look a little similar. Fuck in, no. In, in their they designs. They do not look similar. You're, you're crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just remember the first movie a lot better and I saw it in my childhood. You think this is similar to that? A li yes, a little bit. I'll put them side by side right here. A hundred percent. Yes. No. Oh, sure. The ears. Sure. And just like like the blank face, and just like you know, just a little. A yeah, little but let's say this is creepier. This guy's. Well, got yeah, a, yeah, definitely. Fucked up teeth show, and looks like he'll probably murder you with an axe when you're asleep. Yeah, but I think I think it's because when I was so young when I saw the the first uh, Scooby Doo movie, and just like that dude goes like fucking really ingrained itself in me. So I think that's why it's a bit more intense for me than you seeing it right now. You know. Well, the f well. True, because you were you actually remembered it. I exactly. don't. I completely forget. I forget a lot of shit, man. Yeah, I have a very good memory for irrelevant things, and it, um, it it helps in certain scenarios and is a curse in others. I remember something that did scare me as a child was uh, this movie that I was watching my, with my dad about uh, some guys abducting kids. There's like nice. some kids were like on a school uh, trip on a bus. Yeah. And these guys, I guess, were following this truck of school, this busload of kids, and like on the way back, they did something to the tires, so the, uh, so the bus broke down, and these guys just hijacked all these fucking kids on this fucking bus and shit. And I remember being terrified. I'm like, shit, I don't want to be abducted. I don't want to go on a bus. No, it was. Just, it was uh, I remember that. I remember I was vividly scared of that. I'm just like, oh, oh, I'm gonna get abducted. Something's gonna happen. I'm gonna get raped. And I was just like. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want to know a similar thing that I had when I was somewhat younger? You actually got raped? No. Oh. So my grandma, like, so I guess I gotta go this way, is, um, and uh, people in general, they, they like Law and Order and those type of, like, crime shows, right? And, like, right. Uh, Unsolved Mysteries, like, the real shit, right? Right. It's all it's all very funny. It, it sparks something in you. I have that, too, where it's, like, this, like, a morbid morbid curiosity and sense of, like, death and crime, you know? We, we all have it, right? So when I was younger, my grandma would like those shows, especially, like, the, uh, the real ones, like the unsolved murder, unsolved murders, or just like recounting actual crimes and shit that happened, right? Right. So I was younger. I would chill out in there, in the, on that big like leather couch she has in there, because that was her dad's couch. So it was a real comfy couch. So we'd, I'd sit in there at night, you know, watching this shit with her. And um, one came up about this fucking dude, and it was it was this mom and her like two kids, and she was like a divorced mom or whatever. And it was like the son was like four or something, and the, the daughter was like one or two, like a real baby. And she had like this shitty boyfriend, and apparently, like uh, the boyfriend got like, really pissed at her and was like abusive and shit. And he like killed her with like a samurai sword that he fucking had. God damn. Yes, yeah, so, and the four-year-old son like called the cops and be like, he, he stabbed my mom with a sword. And I was so like, was she alright? No, she died. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And that like traumatized me because I was like, fuck, I don't want to, I don't want to be stabbed. My mom be stabbed with a sword. And just like, just, just hearing like a like, and it's like the real like calls, you know. Or even if it was staged, they got a kid to do it, you know. But still, just like hearing a a kid like that, like like me, have to make that call and say these things. It was like, dude, that's yeah, that's terrifying. Terrible. That's terrifying, man. Yeah, and I remember. I think now I could be wrong. Maybe my brothers would correct me on this, but. uh I remember uh, vividly someone says a child that uh, CPS came to my house. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, I remember. Because I think my brother Omar, I think my dad or someone <laughs> told me the story that uh, since a teacher had asked him something and he was oh. like, yeah, my dad hits me at home. Like, says, uh, and so I, I think I vividly remember some guy coming over in like a suit like asking me a question he's like are you okay son and, everything. <laughs> and i'm just playing with some toys and my dad's looking at me in the background i'm like yes <laughs> oh, oh man i think 
that was the only time that they came though. It's, man, why can't why can't teachers do their jobs when it's like an actual like threat and bad scenarios? Oh, ooh. Uh, hey man, I don't it, I don't know. I I like I said I don't remember much, so oh, I remember boy. weird instances like that. Oh Christ! Is that it? Is that the, it's like those two enemies for this one fucking room? It can't be. Hey, the mighty shield. Let's check that out. A little diversion back to the gameplay real quick from all this shit. Uh, wow. Nice. The, the most powerful shield. It looks like a effective. nipple. Just a little tad bit. It looks like an electronic robot nipple. Put it on. Did you? Look at that. Nice. Yeah, way smaller than Herc shield, but I with the it. damage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Gazoon tight. Here we go. Up here. Ugh, thank you. I remember I would get scared at, there was like a, a channel, or uh, it was a show on uh, Animal Planet when I was younger. And it was like about like, cryptids and like uh, monsters and shit, like, you know, like uh, chupacabras and like, and like aliens and, you know, and that shit would scare me when I watched it as a little kid. You know, because right. just that shit was scary. Like aliens were super scary because I, they're just like the the unknown. You know, it's like the same reason why you're scared of the dark or shit. Cause you don't know what's in it or. You know you what know. I was scared of on Animal Planet? What's that? I shouldn't be alive. Do you remember that? <sighs> yeah, because it's like oh, I got Dude. I got trapped in like the fucking. Or like I the, see mountains of something, and I was stuck up there for a whole week. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like 127 hours at the uh, James Franco fucking uh, movie that he did. Oh, yeah, and he sliced, just, the guy sliced his arm off to live. Yeah, and he's jacking off, thinking about his girlfriend. Do <laughs> you remember that part in the movie? That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the fuck am I going? I don't I mean, know. I got a chest, so I can just leave, I think. But Oh, can I leave through here? Would you do that? Yes. If you had to live and survive, chop your arm off if you were stuck between two... Um, um, uh, mountainsides. I don't think I could do it. You would. You think, wouldn't do it. No. Would you just pull your arm out until something happened? I wouldn't be able to do that either. I think. Ah. I'm supposed to go green. It's terrifying thinking of. Wait, God, I hope I'm never in a situation like that. Holy shit! Okay, it's Vegeta yeah. powering up. Vegeta. Alrighty, we're in the final green. Uh, it's the the, the Neverland. Yay! Our final megalixer, our, our final respite before the end of the end of the world. Uh, let's put on some fucking items. I have items. That's kind of all that matters, but I guess I'll give them some. Yeah, give me some. Uh, you got. I have, oh, you got <laughs> plenty. I got. I, I won't get. You I got, can I, get them. I got stuff. stacks on stacks on stacks of shit. It does not. <laughs> whoop. Uh, yeah, I can give. I can give them a couple at least. There we go. Now we're going to this final red fiery pit. Oh shit, it's Hades. He's mad. Donald, uh, Goofy, have you said your last will and testaments? Do you have your uh, wills written out? You should you should uh, be the uh, be the, the, the server, ser service guy and just marry them already. Look, they're ready. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I now pronounce thee dog and duck. You may now kiss the grill because we're in where this, this game is Asian. Holy this, shit, it's big Goku fiery up. pillar. Oh shit. I want Budokai Tenkaichi 4 already. Yeah, it's gonna be that game's gonna be hopefully great. I think so. You know, they they've I had... hope they keep it to the old school fighting style too, like how it is. You know, like that would be great. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be mostly reminiscent of that. I fucking hope so, because if they fuck it up, then I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm telling you and everybody lately that I've been wanting to play a fighting Dragon Ball Z game again. Exactly, not Dragon Ball Fighters, because that's an actual fighting game, and we're not good at those. Yeah, I'm not. Great at that. You gotta, you gotta get a lot of lab time in for actual fighting games, and it's, uh, I can't, I don't have, oh jeez. Uh, you whoa. skip, whoa, hey! Whoa, yeah, just, sorry about that. Uh, Pro Project of Darkness, come back to the eternal darkness, for the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness to seal the night. None shall pass but shadows returning to the darkness. One's born of the heart uh, and darkness. Hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. Dark heart, light heart, dark key, dark heart, light keys, two keys, heart darkness. I've seen that part. That's basically before. what that said. Yeah, pretty much. And I like how we skipped over half of it accidentally, but still we kind of got the gist of it from the second half. Yeah. You want to reread the first half? Do you nope. care that much? All right, cool. On we go. That is fucking. That would be a cool off. tattoo to get. Turn around. Yeah, I thought about the when I was logo. when I was younger. I was like, yeah, it'd be cool to get that or like from the second game, like the nobody symbol. But you know, pretty cool. You get like a stylized version, it'd be pretty sick. But even like the base version, if you like that, like a small version of that on like your shoulder or wrist or something, it could be it'd be cool. It's a cool design. I think I want to get tattoos, but nothing crazy big. Like some small stuff, I think would be cool. Yeah, Whoop. into the hole we go. Into you, the thick of it. You said you wanted like a you wanted like a like a treble clef or you want like a like a Oh that's a whole you, I don't know if I'll ever oh do yeah, that. Oh yeah, like the trumpet me. and like the like lines the and coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'll was, ever do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you look good with that, but I don't know, maybe. If you grow out your facial hair a bit more, you could you could wow, rock it. So you're saying I don't look good in general? No, terrible. Terrible. What you the look fuck awful. is that? 
The genie. It's it's Satan. It's blo oh. The devil himself. Damn, he's buff. Fuck yeah, dude. I want to be as buff as that. I want to be as buff as Chernobog. You want to be as buff as that and have wings. Exactly. This is Chernobog. He's, have you ever seen Fantasia Caesar? Yes. Well, then, you, then you'd recognize Chernobog, because he's like the final uh, the antagonist, sort of, of that movie. Well, you remember that I forget everything. Very, very true. And so, I remember uh, very tiny, small details. Well, you're we're, just fucking him up so yeah, far. Yeah, we're kicking so. his ass. We're level 62 on, on a normal playthrough with... We just gave Goofy that fucking awesome weapon. We're, yeah, just... Nothing. Jesus, well, you just murdered me. Ain't nothing gonna him hold me down. Oh God no, damn. I got to keep on moving. Wow, fucking less than a minute, and it's already over. And boom, boom goes, goes dynamite. dynamite. HP and MP, as if I needed more. They're like, stop it! Stop in the frozen time. He's like, wait, wait, stop, please! I'll give you my money for the love of God. I got a family. I got no dick here. Sucks when you have no Riz. That's it. Chernobog, no Riz. No Riz, dude. No Riz. no Riz. Look at that. God damn, it's beautiful. Me, on the other hand, Sora... Definitely riz, not beautiful. Riz the fuck out. Well, don't push it. We learned the shared ability, Super Glide. Wow, now so, you can fly forever. No, no, now we can fly faster. So you know how our glide has been super shitty for the entire game and it's been super slow and awful? Yeah. Well, now it's not. <laughs> nice. It only took more than half the game. It only took the entire game to get to a point where it didn't actually fucking matter how fast the glide was. Because we're at the end of the game. But I guess it does It does help when you're going back and getting shit that you left Probably, behind you know, for re-exploration. Yeah. It does definitely help. But if you're if you, if you're just a casual and don't really care about it all that much, then it's not going to it's not gonna be the greatest of use to you. <laughs> Wait, Excuse no. me. Sorry. Teach their own. Look at this. I, I like this little place. It's all, It's so Ooh. weird. It's like a little bit of everything. Kinda. But like, it's nothing we've been to before. It's all like, well... I mean, this could like maybe be like Agrabah, kind Or like Traverse Town, maybe. And this is like... Kinda Hundred Acre Wood, maybe, I guess. This is like... No, this looks spooky over here. So this is like, spooky. I don't know. Spooky. Big nose. Big fucking nose. Anyways, let's jump down this glowing hole. Whoop. I love holes. Exactly. I love Especially it. if they're Getting glowing. Getting inside them. Exactly. And now into this other glowing hole. It was really funny when, I, when I, I told Nick this before we recorded this, but I was watching the first scary movie yesterday, and I don't remember the black guy's name, but who's like, I'm not gay, but he's clearly fucking gay. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. it was funny because there was a scene oh, when they were driving all of them in a car, and like the him and his black girlfriend were making out in the back, and then the white guy and his hot, super hot girlfriend were making out in the back as the main two were driving. And then, like, they're all making out and shit, having, like, you know, sexy time. And then, like, sexy oh, times. yeah, the white guy's like, yeah, I love it when you shove a finger in my ass. And then his girlfriend's like, I'm not fucking fingering your ass. And then the black guy pops out of his finger. He's like, boop, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember his name is Ray because uh, I think, is it Niecy Nash? Who, who's, I think is, so. Is it black chick Niecy Nash? Yeah, she, she always says, God damn it, Ray. <laughs> That's how I remember that. All she right. was funny. But goddamn, when she was the the, it was a little cringy when uh, her and Ray were, were like watching that movie, and she just wouldn't shut the fuck up. I was like, I get the point of the you're <laughs> you, making you here. You get the joke. You do get but the joke. Like, come on, I get I get what's going on, you know. But maybe it was a little. It was Would a you little want too that long. tattoo on you? That heartless emblem? Uh, yeah, it looks like a dick. <laughs> exactly. You want that on? Ray you? wants that tattoo for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Is, uh, is it was a good movie. I think for, since I haven't seen it in a while, I think I'm gonna give it like a seven point five. Yes. It's not bad. Scary Movie One kind of holds up. It was the beginning, and they were they were being somewhat more broad with the comedy. So it yeah, could, you know. I love I love the aggressive jokes. Those were fucking oh, great. Yes. That, that was the time in the early two thousands. People really didn't give a fuck. It was real grungy and like uh, what, what was what was the thing with uh, Stevo? It was uh, bad, not badass boys. What was it? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you're tight. Oh, uh, Jackass. Yeah, but then he, Steve had his other thing with it was him and I think Ryan Dunn or something. And they were it was something boys. It was, but it was it was the same kind of shit though. It was just, oh, I don't it was remember. like it was a different show on MTV. It was a different time. It was a very different time. Very different than what we have now. Now it's all PC that PC this. Well, shit. I'm just exactly. trying to get a fucking three piece. Leave me alone. Th th things are more open in in different ways. You know, like sexuality yeah. and like self personal expression, which it, it kind of was back then too, just in like a different way. It's just that back then people would judge you harder. Now exactly. people judge you in silence. Exactly. The, the, that era paved the way for people being able to like express themselves and then express yourself. I was the most soul capabilities. You know Shut that the song. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. But yeah, it's just you know it, 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 it paved. I don't know. 
No, I get what you're saying. I'm just I trying to think of things to say while either. we go through these uh, incessant combat trials on our way to the end of the game. I love it. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm sorry. Bad. I didn't mean to cock block you there. No, it's okay. No, you didn't cock block me. You 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 uh, block cocked me. Oh. Yeah. Is that a is that a threat? No, it's a compliment. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think uh, the the first scream was great. Second one, not sure it holds up as much. I think that one is much more. Uh, no, a I thought the first time. three were good, and then the four, five, and six are off. Well, yeah, they're good, but just like the jokes, it they, it doesn't hold up as much as as one and three. Really? Yeah. Because because mm. in two, you know, there's a whole bit where they're doing like the uh, the. Uh, like the basketball scene, and it's like it's a reference to a commercial from the '90s that most people, like most kids or people watching it, like wouldn't even get, or like they would. Well, forget, maybe you some know. adults or you know teenagers. Adults exactly, but that's definitely like a joke of its time. Like was, that, that joke wouldn't be written today because it's like there, it doesn't, you know. Obviously, but I need to watch it. I, I, I only plan on getting the first three because I'm not even gonna bother with four, five, and six. Fuck yeah. that shit. Yeah, the fourth is, and I haven't even really seen the fifth one. Yeah, I'm not. You're not gonna bother. Is it is it the first one or the second one where Nisi Nash and, and Ray are fucking and and he's like, yeah, I want you to talk dirty to me, and she's like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fart in your face and I'm gonna piss in your mouth. Is that the first one or the second one? No, no, the first one when they were fucking, he's like, yeah, girl, she was on top of him and she was shaking a little bit. He's like, yeah, you know, here, put this on. I like like uh, cause she was wearing. Uh, his, his football jersey. Oh, yeah, and no, she like, won't put, put on the whole this outfit. Yeah, yeah. Put on the pants and shit and pretending it was a guy. Yeah, now put on this helmet. And he's like, why? He's like, I think you look so sexy <laughs> in it. And then I'm like, god damn. Uh, it's so, so great. Uh, Have you ever seen uh, any of the other like, spoof, spoof movies, like Epic Movie or like Meet the Spartans? Uh, I think I've seen Epic Movie and Meet the Spartans before, but I don't remember. Epic Movie was when it's like it's the parody of, uh, of uh, X-Men. Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, Wow, then, I forgot and about then, that. And then, and then they go to the Narnia, like Lion Witch in the Wardrobe type shit, you know. Remember? Remember? Ba very vaguely, very vaguely. Yeah. yeah. But uh, damn, I miss movies like that. Oh yeah, it was it was a different time. But uh, and then we got like movie forty three in twenty fifteen. Oh yeah, now it it's just now it's just the awful. garbage. Like yeah, they they they're, they're trying to capitalize again Hugh off that. Hugh Jackman ball chin. Yeah, they're trying to do the spoof movies, but they're 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 too self aware of it, and it's like it's like the modern humor it doesn't work. It doesn't work as well. I, I don't know. It's just yeah. it, maybe we've just grown up. Maybe maybe our taste would just change. No, I mean no. Uh, who's to say? I don't maybe know. Who's to say? But anyways, we've reached the end of the end of the world, <gasps> and beyond this door, if we examine it, huh? What's wrong with it? Oh, we're hearing something. Careful, this is the last haven you'll find here. Oh, shit. Beyond, there is no light to protect you. Is that Yen Sid? But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Shit. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. This is it? I don't have Oh, God. <laughs> that was, that was go. my Donald. I, I really can't do a good Donald. Your <laughs> Donald impression sounds like if somebody was strangling Donald. <laughs> you got to sound like a smoker. <laughs> Jesus. Can you spare a lozenge, sweetie? Let me a minute to take a rest. I just sound like a ghoul. Oh, God. Now, yeah, now you just sound fucking... Yep. But this is the final door. The final the final rest. If we go into the save point, we, we will see right there. It is the final rest. Damn. So this is it? The, this is it. This, this, is, this is the final point. If any, and if you're watching, you're following along, this is your last chance to pussy out now. Yeah. Click off the video right here if you don't want to see anything. Exactly. But no, you keep watching because... We're going to take this on in the next episode. The next and final episode? Or maybe. I haven't, know, I, I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> if we're going to do the extra shit first or this and then the extra shit afterwards. We shall know. see. I'll figure it out. I'll feel it out. I'll see how I feel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for, for, for joining us on this time. and uh, For to joining us. Sticking through uh, these uh, inane ramblings of ours, that which, which we, we adore so much. If you made it to the end of the video, please leave a like, maybe a comment. And subscribe. Yeah, tell us how much you love my smoker's voice impression of Donald. Uh, tell us how much you want to kill yourself after hearing that uh, shitty impression of Donald. Tell us how much you want to use uh, Sora's head as as like a toilet cleaner, because you think it'd be really good at getting out those deep stains. Those like those like hard like zinc and calcium stains in there, you know. 
I just want to suck the shit out of Goofy Shield. That shit look like, looks like a nipple, and I'm starting to get a little hard. Exactly. Rub your finger along that golden en areola of it. Oh, stop. You, you use Donald Staff right there, but like the the, the short the the, the non protruding end of it, because because then he can use this other end up here as like the grip to like pull it out. See, it's a perfectly shaped. And look, see? there's a lot of water, so you can lube it up. And yeah, everything. this is like magical water too. So it's, if you get any wounds, it's gonna heal that shit right up. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, oh, I, that we, makes my tits hard. We got to end the episode right now, so we can so we can get get on with this uh, this fantasy of ours. So, guys, like Caesar said, like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things you know how to do, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.